All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about um, Tucker Carlson and uh, when he said, will they try and kill Donald Trump? He did a very important big interview with him recently during the GOP uh, primary debate. So we're going to talk about that tonight and report for Tiger Mountain. Stick around. All right, will they kill Donald Trump? You know what I mean? Um, well, uh, look, it's an interesting question, uh, and it's quite serious in many ways. Um, you know, obviously they're doing everything they can to discredit him uh, for next year's 2024 election. Um, I probably think that they think they've done enough, you know, and that obviously they're going to be trying him uh, in court all throughout next year, and they figure that will sabotage Trump in, in, a, in a serious way, even though it probably won't. <laughs> and also that they're going to rig it. Um, they're trying to bring back COVID. So I don't know. I mean, is the final resort, that, could they attempt to assassinate him or could they successfully assassinate him? Obviously, I think it's a legitimate concern. Um, you know, it, as Tucker Carlson has said, um, you know, uh, the deep state has decided it doesn't want Donald Trump back. And that Donald Trump appears to have been a legitimate mistake you know um it, it appears the deep state had does choose every president and probably has since richard nixon i think richard nixon was a president who wasn't fully uh on the uh, on on the board with the deep state um you know he wasn't particularly fond of bohemian grove and obviously before him was jfk and we all know how that ended up uh, it did, did end up in an assassination so yeah look you know i i think it's it is a real problem um you know for donald trump you know um, you know, there seems to be this uh, terrible power behind the throne, this bureaucracy, you know, um, a filmmaker like Oliver Stone is, you know, he calls it like the beast, you know, it's like a kind of a, a political animal. It's a, it's a, it's a number of internet interest, interconnected interests from the CIA, you know, to Mossad, to other foreign, um, intelligence agencies, you know, it involves corruption and involves, um, foreign policy uh, it, it's as i said it's an interconnected um you know octopus of interests let's say that so you know <clears throat> yeah i think there is a there is a threat that they might try and kill trump i mean why haven't they done it already um well probably because there'll be uh, that you know, obviously they actually don't want to start a real civil war they always talk about you know january 6 being an insurrection which was a complete nonsense ladies and gentlemen obviously they just sent enrico terrier he was a um lead leader of the proud boys they just sentenced him to 22 years I and mean, he wasn't even in the capital you know what i mean it, it's extraordinary basically anybody who is seriously resisting the deep state and supporting trump you know, in America, they're beginning to arrest them and giving them jail terms. I mean, this is absolutely the kind of thing that happens in banana republics. Um, yeah, so, you know, I think the deep state has gone all in on its anti-Trump um, campaign. But if anything, Trump appears to be more popular than ever because I think the American people have, you know, kind of like twigged, even on, obviously on the right, but even on the left, that Trump is, a, is actually a, a, an existential threat to the deep state that's probably been running America since the JFK assassination. You know, we've had a few presidents who've sort of defied, um, you know, the deep state. Uh, Richard Nixon was one, they got rid of him. Um, I think, you know, Ronald Reagan early on, you know, was sort of, uh, you know, making that, those kind of rumblings. He got shot and then he, and then he had to play ball after that. So, you know, there has been um, presidents who I think have been good people who've tried to, you know, um, break the stranglehold uh, the deep state and the, you know, the globalist cabal has upon America. And I think obviously Trump is the latest one and he's probably the most serious one. And that's why there's been this decision. Uh, you know, on essentially both sides of the house. I mean, not everybody. There are people within the Republican Party who obviously love Trump, um, so which is fantastic. But there are people like Mitch McConnell. You know, if we saw him the other day, he's a complete zombie. He's just sitting there like this, like for like ten minutes. You know what I mean? Like, him and uh, and then on the Democrats, you got that Feinstein creature, and then you got Joe Biden himself, who wanders around like a complete fool. He gave some award the other day to some veteran, and and and, and who was like a hundred years old or something, and, and then in the middle of it, he just walks out like you know, maybe he needed to have a shit or something. I don't know. It's ridiculous. So anyway, will they kill Trump? I think Tucker Carlson raises an interesting concern. I think as a last resort, they could. They might even wait till he's elected. You know, but I think they know that could trigger some kind of serious insurrection against them. I mean, you know, it is amazing that the American military doesn't stand up and, and, and uh, um, take the reins because something very dodgy is going on in American politics. And, you know, one of the mottos of the American military is that it will defend America against, you know, enemies foreign and domestic, which is the fucking globalist cabal, which is, you know, I mean, January 6th wasn't an insurrection. That was a protest. 
It got a little bit out of hand. Some FDI, FBI agents riled them up and the Democratic controlled security forces at the fucking um, Senate uh, let them in. You know, so that they could pretend that was an insurrection because that's what they do. They accuse you of the things that they do. The insurrection was the 2020 election, which was completely rigged. Donald Trump won that. Can he win again next year? I believe he can because I think enough of Americans have had enough and it's going to be very hard for them to even to rig it. And will they try and assassinate him before that? Yeah, they might. But they're going to have fucking trouble on their hands if they do.